Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make car transformation effect very easy in After Effects. First make sure to duplicate your clip and toggle off the bottom one, then rename top one to clean. Let's scroll forward where you want that effect to end and then cut the ending of it. Now let's scroll to the beginning and then we have to remove the car from a background and to remove. First we need to mask out the car into mask, I will use Mocha AE for better and smoother tracking results. In Mocha grab a pen tool and mask the car something like that. Once you are done, enable perspective and then hit on tracking button. As the tracking is finished, click on save and then close Mocha AE. Now let's expand matte and then click on create AE masks, then press M on your keyboard and make sure to change mask mode to subtract. Note, your video should be like that. The car have to be covered in black, in case it is not the same as in the tutorial, make sure your bottom layers are disabled and the mask mode is subtract. Now make sure to trim the work area, because we need to remove the car only on that part of our video. Then go to content aware fill tab and you can click on generate fill layer and wait until after effects will remove the car, but the results won't be so smooth, so make sure to click on create reference frame, it will open a photoshop for you. In photoshop grab a remove tool and remove that transparent spot. Once you are satisfied with the image, go to file and click on save, then close photoshop and go back to AE. Now under a content aware fill tab copy my settings and hit generate fill layer and let's wait until it's done analyzing. And once it's done, let's check the video. As you see everything is clean and smooth for me. Now bring back work area to its normal length and then we have to duplicate our original clip, the one that we have toggled off at the beginning. Move duplicated one above fill layer and toggle it on. Now make sure to scroll forward till the clean layers ending and then split the duplicated layer like that. So the right side will be the original video and the left side will be the one we will make transformation effect. Also the left side have to be a still image to make things easier to do. Make sure you are at the very middle of your two layers, then right click on a left part, Go to time and select freeze frame. And as you see I have a still image of left layer and another part is a video that goes normally. Let's rename froze layer to a car only and then scroll to the beginning of it and then we have to mask out the car and isolate it from a background. Since it's a still image and it doesn't have any movements in the frame, we can use a pen tool and mask the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, pre-compose car only layer. I will correct the name and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Duplicate car only layer now and make sure to toggle off the bottom one. Select top one and rename it to mask. And now we have to mask out car parts one by one, so let's select a pen tool and I will begin with the front side of the car. Once you are done masking, make sure to duplicate mask layer. Now press M on your keyboard and delete the mask on duplicated layer. Grab a pen tool again and mask out another part. Once you are done, duplicate that layer and then press M on your keyboard and delete the mask. Then grab a pen tool and simply do the same steps till the last car part, and I will speed up the video, cause you already know how to mask car parts. And here I am done masking, I have masked 4 car parts and I think it's enough, in your case you can mask as much as you want and make that effect more detailed. Once you are done scroll forward something like that before the layer ends and then select all mask layers and press P on your keyboard. Make sure all mask layers are selected and then click on one of the position stopwatch icons to create a keyframes, then drag position up something like that. Now hold shift and press S on your keyboard to expand scale and then click on scale stopwatch icon. Now make sure to go to the very beginning of your mask layers and then click away so none of the mask layers are selected and then decrease the scale on each mask layer like that. You can also reposition all car parts at the same position. Once you are done, we can quickly check the effect. Looks fine, but now make sure to scroll to your second keyframes here and then cut all mask layers ending. Once you are done, make sure to toggle on car only layer and then cut the beginning of it. Car only layer should start where the mask layers ends. Let me show you how it looks like now. I agree with you, it looks weird. Let's fix it, make sure you are at the beginning of a car only layer and then copy the last position keyframe of a masked layer and paste it on a car only layer. Or, to not mess up the whole video, you can simply copy any mask's last position keyframes values and paste on car only layer's position. Scroll to the end of car only layer and then right click on car only layer's position and select reset. Let me show you what it looks like now. 
Already better, but let's smooth out the motion. Select car only layers position keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph, now make a smooth curve like mine. The falling is smoother now, let's close graph editor and then enable motion blur on car only layer. Now let's select all keyframes under the mask layers and hit F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. The whole effect has changed and it looks so smooth, but here we have a little thing to fix, for example I want these wheels to come out from inside the car and not like that. So make sure to select wheel mask layers in my case it's these two and move them below other mask layers. Done, now wheels are popping out as they should be. Once you are done and happy with the curve and other things we did, make sure to select all mask layers and enable motion blur on them. Let's check it one more time. That looks way smoother and better. Let's add some shakes now. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. That looks way better. In case you want to add some rotations to your car, make sure to select all mask layers and pre-compose them into one layer. Name it to masks and make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now scroll to the beginning of masks layer and before we add rotation effect, we will need to track the anchor point, make sure to double click on an anchor point tool and move it right on the car like that. Now expand masks transform settings and then click on anchor point and position stopwatch icons. Scroll forward a bit and correct the anchor point. Correct it till the end of the layer. Once you are done, scroll to the end of masks layer and press R on your keyboard. Click on rotation stopwatch icon and then scroll to the very beginning and bump up rotation until you will be satisfied with it. Let's check it. And it's done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.